Oh hey, I was just gonna take a couple laps on the dirt bike. See? Alright, let me let you in on a little secret. What if I told you that I could go from point A to point B like that? Here, let me show you. That's something I'm proud to call Einstein's Rosen Bridge, or more commonly named, a wormhole. While a black hole may be able to consume just about anything that gets too close, including time itself, a wormhole is theoretically a literal cosmic bridge, a sort of gateway that opens and closes in the blink of an eye. I'll cover why this is later, but to get a general understanding of what exactly a wormhole is, or could be, we have to break the concept down, by a lot. Imagine that Jimmy is here on point A, but his friends are over here on point B, and he'd really like to go over to point B because right now he's by himself. Now, if Jimmy wanted to travel from point A to point B, he would have to travel across this linear path. Well, technically yes, but theoretically wrong. He doesn't have to, and he really can't because Jimmy just recently hurt his leg, and he can't drive either because he got his license removed after jumping the old creek. So what Jimmy could do, is he could take reality and bend it to where point A goes on top of point B. Now when this snaps back, Jimmy will be left on point B with his friends. Now, what hap what's happening is that when A, point A is folding on top of point B, the Rosen Bridge is formed, and Jimmy can travel across it. Jimmy is over here on point A, and he can travel across the bridge to point B successfully getting to his friend's house so he can have a better time. Now to quickly explain why wormholes snap in and out of existence so quickly is because of something called negative mass. Now negative mass is exactly what it sounds like. It's mass with exact opposite properties of positive mass. If you take negative mass and you apply force to negative mass, in a literal sense it will travel the opposite direction. Scientists had taken rubidium and cooled it down to such a temperature that they could reverse the effects of it. So they would push it one way and the rubidium would travel in an opposite direction. Even to this day, Einstein's law that the universe will always try to balance itself out is an exact example, exact representation of what negative mass is, that it keeps the universe in order and it keeps everything balanced.